terror attack in Paris. New claim of responsibility from Al Qaeda. He goes on to claim Al Qaeda chose the target, laid the plan, financed the operation, and appointed its leader. And he claims the now dead American radical cleric, Anwar al Awlaki, was responsible for choosing the gunman. Sold out. These signs, a familiar sight around Paris today, as Charlie Hebdo publishes again. People lined up for hours in the pre-dawn darkness, chill and rain, waiting to get a copy of that because it became a statement to have a copy of Charlie Hebdo under your arm today. Strange plot to poison the Speaker of the House. A bartender from John Boehner's country club in his home state, Ohio, has been arrested for threatening to murder the Speaker. Michael Hoyt believes he's Jesus Christ and that Speaker John Boehner is the devil. He allegedly told them he was going to kill Boehner because Boehner was mean to him at the country club. Hoyt later admitted to the FBI he had been thinking about poisoning Boehner's drinks, but was fired before he could do so. Space Jam, some tense moments on board the International Space Station. When an alarm went off, the astronauts forced to evacuate one section. Fortunately, it turned out to be a false alarm. The president looking for ways to make high-speed internet more affordable and accessible. Today, high-speed broadband is not a luxury, it's a necessity. This is about helping local businesses grow and prosper and compete in a global economy. Reaching new heights, two free climbers on the brink of finishing a record-breaking journey. Their goal, El Capitana. After 18 days of climbing the 3,000-foot rock and sleeping in hanging tents, Tommy Caldwell and Kevin Jorgensen now just feet away from realizing their seven-year dream. 